This is the perfect lounge top. I am shocked at how thick this fabric is. Welcome back to my channel. I have a golden Aritzia haul for you today. I can actually count on my fingers the number of items that I have purchased from Aritzia in my lifetime. I don't know about you, but the clothing pieces are a little bit out of my price range, so I've never really shopped in the store. It was a very big trend when it opened up when I was in high school. So if you went to high school in the early 2000s like I did, you know that the TNA pants were huge. I could never afford these, but honestly shopping at Aritzia has never really appealed to me the price point's just a little bit higher than I normally go for and honestly walking past the store is a little intimidating walking inside the store is a little intimidating I did receive a targeted ad probably because I do so much googling of activewear brands and up on my Instagram sure enough comes the golden Aritzia activewear collection by the way before I forget my name is Angela and if you're new here I talk all things wellness fitness self-care and how I fit into my schedule as a working mom of two kids be sure to hit that subscribe button now I think this is relatively new because I immediately was googling to see if there was any reviews or information about the quality of these pieces and I couldn't find much so I thought I would jump on here and do a review. This collection is marketed as luxuriously crafted activewear in high performing fabrics with next level details. The aesthetics of athletics. All right so very catchy marketing. I will say that when I look at these pieces, when I'm looking on Instagram, when I'm looking online, I'm not sure how they would perform in the gym. For me, I like really high performance pieces. I do a lot of weightlifting, you know, rubbing a lot of weights on my legs when I'm doing hip thrusts and whatnot. I find that if I don't have a really good quality legging, they'll immediately be killing. And when I'm browsing the website and looking at these pieces, I'm picturing more of a yoga, loungewear, Pilates type of vibe versus going to the gym and doing you know, aggressive hit cardio or weight lift. So I hemmed and hawed about which pieces I wanted to buy. And every time I kept going online, pieces were selling out and being backordered. New colors were being added. I finally had to just pull the trigger and order a bunch of pieces because there was so much to choose from, but they were coming and going really quickly. In fact, one of the pieces that I was expecting to be delivered today. I just looked online and it said it's actually not going to be shipped for another couple weeks, but I wanted to get this review up for you. I'm going to have to forego showing you what the sports bra looks like. And like and subscribe and I will definitely provide you an update once it's been delivered. So the pieces I purchased, they got delivered in multiple packages. I was actually laughing at this one. It looks just like someone sent me a letter, but it's actually a pair of shorts, paper thin. And one of the other packages actually came in this cute bag everything's kind of crammed in here and I will be trying these pieces on for you today and giving you my honest opinion this post is not sponsored I bought all these pieces with my own money now if you've seen some of my other reviews you know that I love talking about the ease of using the website and how I went about choosing these pieces so their website is pretty user-friendly again similar to my aloe review which I'll take here you can sort the activewear pieces by training and which type of activity you like to do you can sort them by the different type of fabrics as well as the category. There's a huge variety of colors and pieces and fabrics to choose from, ranging from kind of a low compression, low impact to more of a high compression, high impact. So we have the butter fabric, which seems to be quite popular. And I have seen reviews that the butter fabric is very similar to other brands butter fabrics. So very low impact, buttery soft fabric. We have the soft whip, which is also low impact and it's also also supposed to be a really soft fabric but also has some sweat wicking properties. The light fabric is listed as more of a versatile body hugging sweat wicking fabric. And I felt like I was immediately drawn to this type of fabric because I do like a medium impact so that I can wear it both on my cardio and my weight training days. There's the gloss form which I didn't actually purchase because it is that shiny sheen material. I don't love wearing shiny material because I always feel like if I wear shiny material for my bottoms when I'm squatting, it gives the illusion that it's see-through when it's actually not. It's just the sheen of the fabric. So I try to avoid wearing those shiny materials, not my favorite. And then there's a body light fabric, which is geared towards more high impact workout. What's interesting is it says anti-odor fabric and that it's supposed to feel like a second skin. First up, I have the Butter New Cheeky High Rise 7 inch short. And right out of the bag, I'm so happy that I got the seven inches because it's looking a little short for me. 
which is funny because this is the longest length. It actually comes in a five inch length plus what they call a mini, which is a three inch length. So kind of more like a booty short that could be uh, good for hot yoga. There is a front and a back seam here, but they do say that the way that it's made with the dip in the back, it is made to accentuate your glutes. Feeling the material is really, really buttery soft, but it is quite a thin material. If you want me to compare it to something, I'd say it's a thinner, it feels like a thinner aligned legging, just a little bit softer. I'm worried that, you know, my hands are so rough from weightlifting, my calluses, I'm worried about touching the legging too much because I feel like I'm actually gonna peel it. It feels very, very delicate. And right away I can see that it's 100% going to be see-through on me. That's okay. I'm going to wear a seamless thong underneath and we're going to see how this fits. Now, the great thing about this activewear line is that you do have numerical sizes. So you aren't stuck with just getting an extra small or small. They actually have a variety of numerical sizes. I normally wear a size extra small and I'll put all my measurements down below in the description so you can take a peek. At Lululemon, I know that I wear a size four. So I just grabbed size four in all of these pieces. I have no idea how any of it's going to fit. I'm hoping size four works for me. So this is a high rise. It's as it's designed to move. Like I mentioned, this activewear comes in a variety of different lengths, but also you should check out the colors online. They have so many colors. I went with this color, which is the dream house pink. I thought it would be dark enough that it wouldn't be sweat proof and wearing this color pink is way out of my comfort zone, but it is springtime here. Finally, Up next I have the butter swift sports bra and I bought this in white. And I've said this in some of my videos before, I often buy white, black, and gray sports bras because I find with colored bottoms, it's just easier to mix and match. I don't always wanna be spending a lot of time trying to find matching outfits for myself. So I bought this in white and I'm very happy I did. It's extremely cute, really nice scoop neck. It is in that butter sweat wicking fabric. There are removable cup pads, but you can't see them because it is quite thick. Material. I find with some of the Gymshark or Lululemon white sports bras I have, you can actually see the white removable brow pad because I do have brown skin. It's a very simple sports bra, cross back, slips right over my head. It's not adjustable at all. So we're gonna give this one a go and see how it fits. Right here is that butter fabric. And there, right, it honestly feels like I'm not wearing anything. It's a second skin. It's so comfortable. It's not digging in anywhere. And that's just my first impressions right out of the gate. However, I will say to me, it's giving lounge versus actually a high performance in the gym. I know this butter fabric is meant to be low impact, so great for Pilates, yoga, whatnot, but I wouldn't see myself doing any type of high cardio or weightlifting in this. Also with the price point, like I said, it's a very, very delicate fabric. So will pill if you are rubbing it up against anything, even, you know, if I'm on the floor on my yoga mat, I could see this fabric getting pilled a little bit. Let's start with the sports bra. Really lovely scoop neck here. It's not digging in anywhere. Nice support, removable cup pads. You're not seeing like the circles here for the cup pads, even though I have brown skin. It has the logo here and the logos are all in gold. Liking the sports bra a lot. Very, very comfortable. It's not digging at all. It's quite stretchy. I feel like this one's a keeper for me. Now let's talk about these shorts. These shorts, I'm wearing a black seamless thong underneath. Nice high waist here sitting above my belly button. There is a front seam, so I do feel like I'm pulling it down a little bit to try to avoid any type of camel toe in the back, seam going up the back, but it isn't a T, it's a nice Y seam, so it is accentuating my glutes a little bit. Now, keep in mind, this is the seven inch inseam. There is a five and an even a three. I'm so glad I got the seven. I feel like seven usually sits a little bit lower on me, so this is sitting quite short for a seven inch, keeping that in mind if you're deciding between the seven and the five. The seven, although long on a lot of people, might be okay for you because yeah, this is feeling a little bit short on me and I'm really glad I got the seven and not the five. Again, the fabric is incredible. It honestly feels like I'm not wearing anything at all, which I love, love, love for lounge. I might just have to get this in a darker color because I do feel like it is a little bit see-through. Although I do love the pink, I don't know, kind of on the fence. Let me know what you think right here. I will say that this is the most surprising item that I purchased. So this is the cheeky high rise legging, but it's in the life fabric. I was not expecting this type of fabric to come out of Aritzia. It looks like it's gonna be extremely durable. I don't think that it's gonna pill 
It's definitely gonna be squat proof. I bought this in the color Total Eclipse. And can we stop for a second because I love the color palette that Aritzia has for all of their workout wear. I mean, sure, there's a lot of bright colors, but what I love is there isn't aggressive patterns. I'm sorry, Gymshark, but I don't always wanna be dressed like an animal wearing you know, camouflage, snakeskin, whatever, cheetah print. I love just plain solid colors. I love neutral colors with just maybe a pop of color here and there. So really the color palette's just like right up my alley. It's a super thick, stretchy legging. It's listed as a high rise and I did get a size four. These leggings, the leggings are so, so good. I was not expecting this. Oh man. They still feel like a second skin, so similar to the butter legging, except much, much, much thicker material. It's sitting much more high-waisted. It's just hugging me in all the right places. Nice thick waistband here, giving like medium compression, so not too, too snug, but it doesn't feel like it's going anywhere. Similar to the other leggings in the back, there is no, it isn't a T-seam, it's kind of a dip, so it is accentuating my glutes just a little bit. Even though there is a front seam here, I think the legging is so thick it's not going to show any camel toe. I love this total eclipse color. Very fitting since the eclipse was yesterday. So it is more of an ankle length. I do have long legs. I am 5'8", so I do prefer a longer inseam. Honestly, I'm in love with them. I would wear these for weightlifting. I think they're compressive enough that, you know, going down and coming up, they're not sliding. Really, really stretchy material. Yes, very surprised by these leggings. I almost didn't buy them because I wasn't excited about them online, but I'm so happy that I did. Something you have to keep in mind is the thick legging because it is now springtime and I like a really thick legging for weightlifting. I don't get that hot in the gym, but if you do live in a warmer climate or your gym is in air condition, then these might be a tad too thick for you. I can't speak to the breathability, but it does say that it is sweat wicking. But it is also really rare for me to find a legging that I wanna wear in the gym and also for lounge and running errands. And I think these are that. Now in the soft whip fabric, surprise, surprise, I got a gray sports bra. This is called the Soft Whip Posture Sports Tank. It does have a shelf bra in here and it also has removable cup pads. You saw my short about the airy hugger leggings that I love so much and have five colors of. This is very similar fabric to that. Definitely feels a little bit thicker, a little bit more luxurious. Obviously the price point is way higher, but I knew that this was gonna be one of my favorites as well. Love how versatile this is. I'm hoping it's gonna be super cozy and doesn't dig in for lounge as well as going to the gym, yoga, running errands, whatever it might be. Again, I got a size four, so we're gonna see how this one fits. I'm actually blown away by these pieces. This top is so lovely. Again, really nice scoop neck here, removable bra pads with a shelf bra and the shelf bra itself is not digging or anything like that. The back is not adjustable, but you can see it's laying really, really nicely. There's no digging, just the nice golden logo here. I find the cut of this shirt also kind of makes me look jazzed. I even see myself wearing this top with jean shorts in the summertime if I had a different color. It's super cute. I don't have to wear a bra because it does have that shelf bra and it feels like it's actually a second skin and it fits me like a glove. It doesn't feel as delicate as that butter fabric that I think is gonna pill. Let me know your thoughts on this one. Now, of course, the item that I was most excited about is the one that is now back ordered. Butter Thrive Bra Top. Just looks so cute. Has a deep V neck with adjustable straps, which is really hard to find. For someone that has a small bust like me, I'm really like always looking for minimal bras that doesn't make me look completely flat, but also has enough space here so that I'm not getting that bulge on the side. And I just purchased this in black, but who knew, super popular, and it's now not being shipped until the end of the month, so we'll see when it gets here, if it ever gets here. But if you are interested in any of the pieces, I highly recommend going on soon because the colors are flying, the sizes are definitely selling out, things are getting back ordered, especially all the really nice bright spring colors. Thanks so much for watching my video. I so appreciate you being here. If you like this kind of content, be sure to like and subscribe and I'll see you in my next video. Bye for now.